What's up, Singapore? This is your city, Joe Chris, and guess who I got here with me today? None other than Lakshmi Mohan Babu, the first Singaporean artist in space. Hi, I'm Lakshmi Mohan Babu. I'm a Singaporean artist. I'm an architect and fashion designer by training. Uh, I am now the first and only Singaporean to be selected by the Moon Gallery, the first extraterrestrial art gallery to be on the Moon before 2025, which will also fly to the International Space Station in February of 2022. I feel I've been an artist as long as I can remember. I started drawing from the age of two, and that is really what inspired me to become an architect, a fashion designer, and an artist. I've illustrated books in the area of disability, I've also worked in the area of fashion and fashion art. Uh, so that's really been my entire journey towards becoming an artist of different mediums. So my art really is a blend of art and technology or art and science. It's a blend of different cultures. It's uh, got a message of inclusivity. And I bring together all my work as an architect and a fashion designer into, into my work as an artist. It's, a, it's a, a combination of the negative and the positive energies that you see in the world. The negative and positive within us, the negative and positive in terms of spaces. Uh, these are the elements that I use in my artwork. So actually for the work that has been sent to the moon, I was uh, inspired by my own paintings, the interaction series of paintings, which is something that I have started uh, working on, uh, I had started working on about 30 years ago as a design student and it has evolved over the last 30 years and it, was, it has been translated into paintings and sculptures and a whole different range of products that interact with people in different ways and it was the basic idea of inclusivity in it and its connection to space and the universe that I thought was perfect for the moon cubes that I have finally made to be sent to the moon. I have enjoyed working with conventional art galleries because I do want my work to be viewed, I do want people to understand my art, I do want to have my ideas understood by them and I want every kind of explanation that so that they will be able to interact with my art. However, this is an opportunity that of a lifetime where being a part of the Moon Gallery, which is the very first extraterrestrial gallery on the Moon, was an incredible honor. So, of course, one of the main challenges that I faced while making the cube was that it had to be lightweight. It had to be less than a centimeter cube, which is really tiny. It also had to withstand all the, the conditions on the moon and in space. Because the moon, if you think about it, has got extreme temperatures of day and night where temperatures can go as high as 120 degrees Celsius to as low as uh, minus 170 degrees Celsius. So I had to keep that in mind and I knew that it had to be something in a kind of metal that would be able to withstand that kind of temperature. Having said that, in the creation of it, I knew that I had to explore a number of possibilities, different kinds of metals, different kinds of manufacturing methods in the creation of the, of the cube. Of course, I did get a lot of help from NTU and NAMIC in, in, in doing that. So these were some of the challenges that I faced to create the final prototype in aluminium. Well, overcoming these challenges was uh, a collaborative effort. I got a lot of help from Gurtaj, my husband who helped me in the creation of these various prototypes. I also got a lot of help from NAMIC and NTU while I was creating this, uh, these cubes. One of the difficult things about being an artist, especially a woman artist, is not being taken seriously enough. Art is viewed as a, as a hobby and not a profession. So that is one of, the challenge, one of the huge difficulties that I've faced. Also convincing people that I had something that had, that had meaning or value and art, you know, artworks that did have something in it. So that was very challenging when, it, when approaching galleries or people to, uh, to have my art. That was a huge challenge that I faced. What I love about art is that I can do exactly what I, have, what I want to do. I have the freedom to do what I want in the time that I want without being hindered by a classroom or people or regulations. I want to continue creating works of art that are multi-sensory, multidisciplinary, that interacts with people with, in, from all walks of life in a multitude of ways. I want to create sculptures that I can place in different parts of the world where people are able to recognize it, identify with it, and feel like they're a part of the whole inclusivity idea that I want to convey. I do feel that my work deals with perceptions, viewpoints, reflections, how we as people are made completely differently and at the same time we are really the same. And these are ideas that I want to use to impact society 
for people to understand and have conversations along these lines so that differences and biases are discussed openly and, and more. My advice to an aspiring artist is to always help yourself first. Look for connections and interactions with people that are beneficial to you because that is going to lead to interactions where you find that you have a positive impact on people. And when you start with a certain work and you have a certain path that you plan to follow and you along the way find that there is a change of direction or an opportunity that's presented to you, do not feel like you have to follow the conventional path. Go ahead and take that opportunity and go forward and explore new ideas. That would be my advice to you. Singapore and its people have always aspired to achieve greater heights. This time round, however, one Singaporean has brought us to a whole new level of dimension. Thanks to Lakshmi, Singapore now has its place and its mark on the moon. And this has been your City Joe Chris for Singapore One.